The DRDO has conducted two successful flight tests of the very short-range air defense system missile yesterday, that was done from a ground-based portable launcher. It is propelled by a dual-thrust solid motor, and incorporates many novel technologies including miniaturized reaction control system and integrated avionics, which have been successfully proven during the flight tests. The missile tripod stand and NG site brings the total weight of the system to 65 kilograms, that will be put together by a two-man team. The DRDO is also working on a 20 kilograms shoulder-fired man portable defensive missile system program, that will start wind tunnel testing in the next few weeks, and development test will be carried out in late 2023. At a time when India is in advance level talks to procure 30 MQ-9B drones from the US, General Atomics has announced a strategic partnership with Indian startup company Third Eye Tech, that develops next-generation computer chips, integrated circuits, and other semiconductor technologies. General Atomics has said, that the partnership is a commitment to deliver the most cutting-edge unmanned aerial systems to the Indian Armed Forces, and the companies will now work to co-develop state-of-the-art products for the Indian and global market. Private sector firm Tunbo Imaging has been awarded a contract by Bharat Electronics Limited, for the delivery of LPO's fire control system, that will be delivered to the Chennai unit of Bharat Electronics Limited for integration on the 118 Er June Mark 1A e main battle tank ordered by the Indian Army. The LPO's system is an electro-optic site for remote-controlled weapon station, that has an integrated multi-sensor, and is designed for automatic target tracking and precision targeting. The Indian Army is all set to order 100 more K-9 Vaj retract self-propelled howitzers from Lawson and Tubro, that will come with winterization kits with 9 components and systems that are fine-tuned for winter climatic conditions along the LAC. The Army also has plans to place an order for the third batch of 100 units, that will bring the total number of K-9 Vajra to 300 units. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has rolled out the first light combat helicopter, that has been manufactured at its new Timkor facility. HAL had also rolled out the first light utility helicopter from this facility earlier this year. The new helicopter factory is spread across 615 acres, and will be manufacturing over 180 light utility helicopters and 160 light combat helicopters. Bangalore-based Z-Motion Autonomous System Private Limited is all set to start delivery of the three loitering munitions to the Indian Army, that was purchased under emergency procurement, and are 40% cheaper than imported loitering munitions from Israel and Poland. The three Netro is electrically powered for silent operation, and has a speed of 20 meters per second, endurance of 60 minutes, and features multiple targeting modes with a range of 15 kilometers. The operator can also abort the attack, and recover it using parachutes. The Indian Army will induct the 2nd Regiment of 155mm Danush Howitzers in March 2023, while on the other hand, the ATAGS has completed user trials successfully, and is currently undergoing environmental trials, during which various parts of the ATAGS are being put through rigorous environmental tests like dust, cold and heat. After its completion, the acquisition process will begin with cost negotiations and contract signing. Hindustan Aeronautics has signed a memorandum of understanding with the US firm Honeywell, for the manufacturing of high-power and high-voltage turbogenerators. Honeywell will provide a 1 megawatt electric machine, to be utilized as a generator, that will enable a turbo generator, to power hybrid electric aircraft, including conventional airframes, unmanned aircraft, air mobility vehicles and cargo drones. 
the Indian Navy's P-8 Maritime Aircraft and INS Satpura Stealth Frigate participated in the multinational maritime exercise Kakadu 2022, which is hosted by Royal Australian Navy, where 19 naval ships and 34 aircraft from over 20 nations participated in a collaborative anti-submarine and anti-surface warfare operations in a complex multi-threat scenario. Thank <laughs> you.